case involves shooting in Brooklyn where the suspect was killed by police as he was chasing two other people. So here's where it gets complicated. The man the gunman was chasing has now been arrested. Let's get right to Good Days, Briella Tomasetti. She joins us live from that scene in East Flatbush with the latest. Briella, good morning. Yeah, Tashani and Dan, this is an interesting update to say the least. That man, 20-year-old Jeremiah Adams, was arrested in connection with an entirely different case on charges, including attempted murder. Now, he hasn't been charged in relation to this shooting, considering police are still trying to piece together exactly what happened in the moments leading up to that deadly confrontation. An unexpected twist in the police-involved shooting that left a 20-year-old gunman dead after he opened fire at two people on a busy Brooklyn street. The NYPD has confirmed that one of the people he was shooting at, 19-year-old Jeremiah Adams, has been arrested for attempted murder, robbery, and criminal possession of a weapon in relation to an unrelated March 7th case in Brownsville. According to the New York Post, who has cited police sources, the gunman was chasing after Adams for mugging him moments earlier. Ring camera video shows the moment gunfire was exchanged between police and the shooter sending people running and ducking for cover. Investigators say four uniformed officers were in an unmarked patrol car near the intersection of East 57th Street and Remsen Avenue just before 6 o'clock Monday evening when they were alerted to an active shooter situation. After canvassing the area for a few minutes, they rounded a corner and located the 20-year-old gunman who was running down the street and firing off shots at two people. Police allege that's when the four officers jumped out of their car and returned fire. The gunman was shot multiple times and rushed to Kings County Hospital where he died from his injuries. His 9mm handgun was recovered from the scene. You know, someone walking by could get hit. You know what I mean? They had to do what they had to do. That was the point. East Flatbush resident Nathaniel Nirenberg's pickup truck was hit by stray bullets. 60-year-old mechanic Henry Massup was also injured during the crossfire. Massup's friend and colleague Ricky Thomas, who didn't want to show his face on camera, watched him get shot twice. So I was calling Henry to tell him, let's go see who this guy is. When I looked, I saw Henry start to stumble. So I grabbed him and rip off his shirt. See, see a gunshot wound to his side, then one in his arms. If I didn't walk away, I probably would have got shot. Now, it's still unclear who shot Massif. In other words, if the gunfire came from the active shooter or the responding officers. However, we did speak with neighbors who visited Massif in the hospital. They say that he is in incredibly good spirits, and right now he's just feeling very lucky to be alive. For now, we're...